Because I do so much, I offer a lot of treatments, but I do specialized testing of both men and women called urodynamic evaluation, which gives us a lot of information about bladder function and how well people have empty their bladders. Uh, I also do, um, so for urinary incontinence and prolapse, I do, um, I do for incontinence, there's kind of two different kinds of incontinence. There's stress incontinence, which is leaking urine when you cough, sneeze, lift heavy things. And for that, I do uh, surgical interventions, which can include slings, which some people have heard of. I also use uh, women's own tissue to create slings. Um, I can also do bladder neck suspensions vaginally and abdominally, so that can be surgery that way. Uh, and then, you know, we do a lot of, of you know, non-invasive stuff too, like pessaries, which are um, little insertable devices that women put in the vagina to help stop leakage or stop prolapse. Um, and then for for urge incontinence or the gotta go, gotta go, uh, you know, can't make it to the bathroom kind of leakage, uh, most often we can treat that with medications or, um, or lifestyle changes, but in the patients that that doesn't work, I offer uh, Botox injections in the bladder as well as uh, we have a acupuncture uh, type procedure for that as well, and then um, sacral neuromodulation, which is essentially a special device that we implant that can help uh, kind of restore the nerves to the bladder and help them work correctly. Uh, for pelvic organ prolapse, we can manage that conservatively as well with those same pessaries, uh, or we can do surgery for those, and I offer a wide variety of surgical options using women's own tissue, so I don't typically use mesh for vaginal surgery, um, so we can treat this vaginally, or we can treat it through an uh, to abdomen with robotic surgery, and uh, robotic sacral copepexy, and that does use mesh, um, but that's usually the gold standard. Um, and so those are the options for prolapse. And then for a neurogenic bladder, I do um, also Botox is a big part of that patient population and medication management as well. Um, but also in patients that need it, I can make, uh, you know, do reconstructions where we can either make their bladder bigger using uh, a piece of their intestine or we can make diversions so to create different ways for them to evacuate their urine uh, either through a bag or uh, through a channel that they can catheterize through the abdomen.